Bosco, thank you so much for visiting Nursing Embassy. Now, uh, a couple of months ago when we were reviewing for NCLEX with my friends, we came across this easy way to master infection control precautions and I hope you're, you're going to love it. So uh, I wanted to share that with you. You know that infection control precautions like droplet precautions, contact precautions, airborne precautions is a must not topic when you are going for your NCLEX. So if you are interested, keep around so that we can go through together. Also, guys, remember to visit my Facebook page, Nursing Embassy. You can like the page and follow me and even get me on WhatsApp uh, using that page. Stay around so that we can go through this together. Thank you so much. So guys, for the airborne precautions, this is the simplest way to get it. You say my chicken has TB. My chicken has TB. Yes, and these are the diseases for uh, that that each letter represents. And so for these diseases, measles, chicken pox, uh, apis zoster, tuberculosis, you see that they indeed need airborne precautions. However, those that manifest for the skin, that those that manifest on the skin, you also remember to add contact precautions. So the precautions that you need to take for such diseases uh, is you need to have an N95 mask, negative air pressure, private room, door closed, and you can cohort with uh, such a person with another patient with the same disease guys for droplet precautions you use spider-man like spider-man is dropping you know droplet precautions okay so for these ones you can see the diseases that each letter stands for okay this is uh, meningococo meningococo and then uh, AN is adenovirus, but remember to add contact precautions for a patient with adenovirus. Okay guys, so the precautions you have to take here uh, for droplet precautions, you ensure to have gloves, gown, mask, goggles, and also it's a mask for patient to wear mask when leaving a room you have to stand three feet away and door can stay opened remember three feet away and then private room a patient should have a private room but patient can be cohorted with another person of the same disease okay guys finally contact precautions here we use the we use mrs we hips you know mrs we hips and each letter stands for these diseases like m for multi drug resistant organisms such as methicillin resistant staphylococcus aureus vancomycin resistant enterococci okay so these are the diseases that each letter stands for for any patient where a disease can spread through contact you need hand hygiene gloves okay guys so i hope you found that useful and remember to use it instead of burdening your head with other with reading uh, big paragraphs that are very hard to memorize just memorize this and it worked for me i know it can work for you thank you so much my friend i really appreciate you for watching my video thank you so much for coming to nursing embassy if you found this video helpful please remember to share it with your friends so that they can also find this topic easy to master and please remember to go down below this video find that word uh, that is written in red letters subscribe and click it click subscribe so that youtube will be able to show you my next video till we meet next time bye bye for now